This cannot be happening right now. This week has been just the worst week that I've ever had in my whole entire coaching career. I've never had so many injuries. It was already like we were trying to, we had pressure on us to like push through one injury. So just in my head when it happened, I was just kind of in shock. Like there's no way this is happening. There's no way that another one is occurring right now and is in my hands. I've never heard a scream like that before. You just hear that and everyone just, I just look at everyone and they have like that fear in their eyes again of like having to replace someone else. So like it was just a, such a bad feeling, honestly. Take deep breaths. Side of her knee? Yeah, it is bad. I know, I saw her. Just breathe. Okay, you need to breathe, okay? Can we bring her water, please? <laughs> Here's okay, I have water. Relief. So bad. I know, I know, honey, I'm literally. sorry. Can we get her mom on the phone, please? My initial thought when Tara got hurt was a little selfish, if I'm being honest. She's one of my all-time fa favorite kids. She's super, super funny, and I genuinely care for her. But because we had just gone through it with Bree, when it happened, my very first thought was like, are you kidding me? And then I instantly caught myself, and I'm like, dude, like, you're healthy. There's nothing wrong with you. Like, this is about that kid right now. Yeah, I think it went under this way. <laughs> it went like... I know, I saw it. Let's take a deep breath. I know. Well, you have okay, popsicles on it. I don't know how my leg is coming from. It's really easy for people to talk and say, oh, if your kids are getting hurt that much, then you're doing something wrong. But at the end of the day, this is really, like, kids get hurt in every sport. Kids get hurt in football every single day. Kids get hurt in baseball every single day. It's cheerleading. It's a sport. It's a very, very hard sport. It's a very competitive sport. And what we do is something that's very difficult, especially level six. It's our biggest priority because it makes sure our kids are safe. Like, why do we want to make sure our kids aren't safe when we need them for what we, you know, to compete, especially on level five and six? That's hard. You can't just pick those kids off the street. We were still hoping that maybe it would just be, you know, it hurt her at the moment, but it's not a big deal. But that's all I can ask for right now. Come on, Lexi! Let's play a game. For every person I see not sticking and stand warming up, I'm gonna put down a notch and we're gonna do a bear crawl. Starting now. Well, you better tap back in, girl. We're at four. Thank you, Govna. Thank you, queen. Don't separate your ankles. Oh, even five, even five. Off the floor, that you, that's a deduction. So Natalie, we were trying out a new pyramid skill and we were trying out the front full. And Natalie was doing a front layout and she ended up going, I don't even, it happened so fast. Eddie decided to upgrade a bit in the pyramid and try like front falls because they were in it originally and then he took them out. So we tried putting them back in, and then our side with Natalie, we tried doing it and... Died. Yeah. She, she fell kinda, forward. Yeah, she kind of like went underneath the prep group. It was like really aggressive and fast, and no one yeah. really had a reaction Fringe, time to yeah. it. So it was really, really fast, and then after that, we were like, if she's not back by Wednesday, then we're gonna have to either change it to four sun groups or figure out what we're gonna do. It happened really fast, where I just twisted too aggressively, and then I fell and I over-rotated onto the floor. <laughs> On Wednesday, I went to the doctors and they took an x-ray and I found out it was broken. I thought it was just sprained, but it was worse. Natalie ended up breaking her collarbone and this was all literally seven days before NCA. And Natalie is such a great flyer and such a tiny flyer that she's almost irreplaceable. She's a running double, she's a three to double, she's our, one of our five flyers and her spot is very hard to replace. We were all really scared because we only have such little time period to put a new person in, change the routine, but we're very fortunate to have Peanut being able to come out here and do it for us. Seven, angle, one, go three, pull four, five. Here, seven, going, one, split, three, pull four, five. 
Good job, Peanut. Uh, I'm Isabella. I am 13 years old. Um, I'm on Cali Black Ops. It's my second year. And I was asked to be put on this team for NCA and maybe UCA because an athlete got injured. And, and split three, pull four, five. There we go. That looks better. Does that work better with angled? Yeah, do you feel like that's better? Okay. So Peanut is amazing. She is such a great flyer. She does not crack under pressure one bit. She learned the stunt so fast. And I think as well, as she's on such like a high caliber team, she knows like what it takes to like. She has that work ethic and yeah. discipline, so it's and really good working with her. Even like when we had the training session with Black Ops the other day, that probably like gave her an insight as to what our training's like. So she knew what she was coming in for before she came here. I had ops this morning, then I went straight to the airport, flew over here, and I practice now. And then I'm sleeping here, having practice with Snow tomorrow, flying back to the Bay Area and having practice with Ops. Uh, actually, it was kind of an honor because Snow has been a team that I look up to a lot. So, of course, and I also wanted to help. Like this arm can be slightly bent, but we can't have it down like by our chin. Like you guys are like, um, what's it called? Downward inversions are illegal. Like if her head's pointing at the ground, she can't move downwards. So it has to be only a dip with the legs. Okay. okay. Watch your arms, please. Good job. We're about to go full out yeah. and warm up tumbling for the first time going with Peanut. And it's pretty much like starting full outs over again, like mm -hmm. from square one, because since it's my stunt group, it's literally like, this is your first full out of the entire year because I've never done it with her. So it's brand new and we just gotta hope for the best and go for so it. True. The work is worth it. We're ready for Dallas. Just do it. All hands on deck. I'm ready. It's gonna go great. <laughs> hey, listen, we only have three tumble runs right now. We're not gonna do more than that. If you touch, you under rotate, you have mermaid drag, super easy. Everybody hits, I'll take off two bear crawls. How about that? It's jumps and tumbling. We should be able to hit at this point. And go ahead. The work is worth it. We're ready for Dallas. Just do it. Oh, God. <laughs> no. If everything hits, uh, Andrea's buying you dinner. <sighs> Thank you, McKenna. Thank you for being the ray of light and positivity and a sea of anger and hatred and negativity. Cut! Let's go. Music's on. Remind Peanut where to go. Not bad. Uh, one mermaid drag from McKenna. Better on the three to double timing. Uh, do the split double up one time if you need to. Let's go. Would you rather it now or in a week? Everyone has to do every skill. Everything has to hit perfect technique because you have so many kids standing behind that it kind of messes with your numbers because there's always a number scale. So yeah. you got to make sure everything hits perfect. Sick. Well, right now we only have, I want to say, seven weeks left to our season before we go to the World Championships. And for sure, for sure, Brie is in a cast for four weeks. Now we're going into the very next practice and Amanda's not here. So I'm calling, hey, where's Amanda, where's Amanda? I finally get a call back that on the way here, she got like a weird pain on her temple, which made her pass out um, in the highway. Her boyfriend was able to grab the steering wheel and pull it off to the side. They called the ambulance. And by the time that she got to the hospital, she couldn't feel her left side of her face. She's being um, sent to different doctors to get checked. So we're sitting here with four stunt groups and missing one of the flyers that belongs in the center of the pyramid. So that's where we're at. It's been the weirdest week of my life. It's almost like, if anybody knows Spanish, tremenda brujería me echaron. Which means voodoo. Someone just put a little voodoo on me. I feel it in my veins because this has never happened. So basically we were doing the whole stunt and then we just were fell on the tick full around. And when I came out, like I stepped out to catch myself, but then it went the wrong way. Well, I saw my leg like go the other way. So then I was like, ah, oh. and then it really hurt like really bad. And then we got an x-ray and everything was fine. I assumed that was gonna happen. And then they told us that it's probably my ACL or my meniscus. So then we got an MRI. They just told me not to walk on it. 
or do anything that's gonna hurt it, and that's it. Tara also bases on the routine, but little by little, um, I just realized that she was just a better choice to be flying, and so we took someone down, which was Chloe, and we put her in the air, and that group was already building chemistry, and everything was starting to look good, so it's, it's heartbreaking that she's going through this right now. I feel like I can't do anything now, because it already happened, so like now it's just like, I just have to deal with it. I can't be like upset about it or like frustrated anymore because it's just not going to help. I just got to get better and that's it. But needless to say, going into NCA has never felt worse. I know that I have a team that battles and they will go down battling and they may actually get out there and do the worst routine of their lives, but with all the pride in their heart and just trying extremely hard and that's all I can ask for right now. And we can't have this whole lead up if we're not gonna hit our stop, so let's go, be about it. McKenna under rotated, that's two bear crawls, honey. I mean, two mermaid drags for you. You're gonna be the strongest mermaid. Didn't you just post your three to double workout today? What's going on? I promise tomorrow you're gonna cry next week if you under rotate and fall and touch out. You let the whole team down. Remember that one hour at Worlds when we thought we lost because of our under rotated double? It's a very important weekend for us um, this time around because really the only goal is to hit our routine. So. It'll be nice to see if we can hit and try to see where we stand with the other teams because obviously in the past that hasn't really happened. So it'll be kind of nice. We can't put in the work and not get the result. Technique, technique, technique. So after a long practice, it's really hard to keep up a good energy with the team because everyone's dying and you all just want to take a break, but you know that you can't take the break because you need the practice. <laughs> started practice at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and um, it started to kind of go downhill once we kind of hit the five, six hour mark of practice. <laughs> We've never had a practice that long. People were getting irritated. Fallen before. Oh. Practice was going really well, but our bodies were really tired, and we had 11 bear crawls on the line. And I was already really frustrated just because our group usually doesn't fall, and it was a fluke. What's what's happening? Why are we fighting? Because everyone's just talking, talking, and talking. I just don't like it. Doesn't work. What do you mean? It's just the mumbling under, and it's just constant. Yeah, I, I don't get it. If you don't have anything encouraging to say, don't say it. Like, I knew that everyone was going to be mad, but it was just really frustrating hearing about it. And especially during the time right before NCA, like, we don't need our team members talking about, well, whose fault was it. It was coming from everywhere. And I was like, yeah. I've been holding it back and it's really annoying me. Team bro! Can we stop getting in our feelings and just get set, please? Yeah, like, I've asked trying. you twice already. I'm being dramatic and fighting. Is that what we need right now? Mermaid drags, go. You guys, you want to have big balls and talk? Go. Mermaid drags, go. Everyone. This is not about you. This is about this team that works effing hard. Sorry, Peanut, you have to walk into this mess. So embarrassing. Go, go, go. I think 
I got really, really frustrated just because I was tired and angry and mad at myself for dropping my stunt. And it kind of exploded into something that I didn't want it to explode to. And I knew that you can't go into NCA with that mentality of being an individual on the team. You have to go in as a team. Could have just set up elite. We would have been in the middle of them right now. Been wrapping practice. But instead, they like self-inflicting torture. I was genuinely upset that I wasn't able to communicate in a better way and I feel really bad that I was reacting like that and it just was really frustrating because NCA is probably one of the most stressful competitions and going into it with a new flyer and being a veteran on the team, I felt like I had to lead the team and seeing that the entire team was frustrated was really frustrating on me feeling like I failed a part of the team. I knew at one point it was gonna happen that I was gonna explode, but I mean, it just happened there and I felt really bad about it. Um, some of you guys know who Tate is, some of you guys don't know. Tate is the owner of Infinity, and every single year he sponsors you guys shoes and backpacks, so please make sure if you have the time while at Dallas, pass by his um, store and just say thank you. I'm from Reckless. And Maybe wear your backpack so he knows that we're grateful for everything he does for us, okay? Yeah. Grab your stuff! It has your name on it, so you can't go wrong. All right, if you go through your backpack, you will see, pay attention, please. You'll see your NCA shirt. And because we have a superhero themed routine this year, instead of putting thank you sponsors, I put our heroes. Considering everything we've gone through this week, you guys have really pulled it together, you've persevered, and you've shown, like, you're not gonna back down, and that's what we teach you here. First they put Amanda in, but then Amanda had her incident. So then they put Chloe in. So now Chloe's just doing it for us. Chloe's an amazing athlete, and we were debating her for center at one point or another, but somehow, somewhere along the line, she just started not believing in herself, and the stunt wasn't hitting, and she just became a tumbler. Well, I have nobody else. We've already asked the only person that we knew that can, you know, fill in for that center group, so we called, hey Chloe, give it a shot. So basically when we all got the text from Amanda that she was in the hospital, I kind of figured that it would be me stepping in because I was the last flyer left on the team. I think Chloe really didn't have an option. I think she realized she was the last resource that we had and I think most of the people on this team would step up and be, fill that role if they had to. I was like, okay, I'm gonna prepare myself going into this practice that I'm gonna be working on the stunt and we only have a week until NCA, so I really just need to be in the mindset of I'm gonna be in the stunt and the stunt's gonna hit. I'm very proud of you guys. When you leave, you, you leave confident, and when you get on that floor, you're confident in that floor as well. There's nothing not to be confident about anymore, okay? And if I know it, you guys need to feel it in your hearts. Cool? Nice. All right, I love you guys, you're free to go. To be honest, I'm just hoping that the kids mold together and they persevere and they realize that not one, not two, not three people make a team. It's the heart within the team that makes the team. You know, we're gonna get out there, we're gonna do the best we can. I'm Haley Stewart. I just came in to try out a practice, and he put me in the routine. Feel the bird in your cheeks. Is it hurting out? It's different than what I'm used to. Keep going. Keep going. 